It's a tale as old as time itself. Backpack or duffel? As you might remember, even in the Hebrew wisdom tradition literature, ancient sacred texts, you might find in, for instance, the writer of Song of Solomon saying, my lover thrust his hand through the latch door. An early reference to, should I travel with a backpack or a duffel bag? What's up everybody? Ancient texts are full of crazy shit and we've got to figure out what the hell we're going to travel with. Is it going to be a backpack, which is on our back, or a duffel, which is like just on a shoulder or we hold it in our hands? I have so many different bags to show you here and I have so many different ideas to bring to mind to you because here's the deal. If you haven't traveled with a duffel or if you haven't traveled with a backpack, I know some of you are like thinking about going over to a backpack, but is it too juvenile? Uh, is it actually better in travel? And others of you are being like, oh, I've been traveling with a backpack for a little while. Now that I'm a little older, I feel like I'm <laughs> still like at, at the quad in high school, like walking through, like hoping like nobody like puts a spitball out at me. Now, the most important thing to remember about traveling with a duffel. Oh, sorry, someone's at the door. Yeah, come on in. Malcolm hey. Fontier. Wow, the lead designer and founder of Pact, the very bag I happen to have just put on my table. What are you doing here, man? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I thought we were gonna make the announcement. Oh, you wanna do it right now? I'm filming already. Well, what better time to do it? Okay, you guys, I'm co-designing a bag with Pact and the Pact team. But here's my question. You've already made one of the world's best duffels. As far as I'm concerned, and very honestly speaking, I love that you can pack this thing suitcase style. I love that we've got external access pockets. I even love that little TSA pocket feature that you have here. I thought that was such an innovative thing to add to a bag. So what are you doing now? I like to think we, we created a great bag, um, but, and there's a lot of times that a duffel is, is, a, is a great way to travel, maybe the best way to travel, but there's also a lot of times when I think a travel backpack is the way to go. Mm. Actually, it's my preferred method most of the time. But also since day one of PAC's existence, the most requested product has been a backpack. Oh, wow, of really? The, of the PAC one. When I saw your, your review of the PAC one last year, I said to the team, I was like, we need to work with this guy on our next product. And so I think the travel backpack is is the perfect fit to work with you on. Man, I love it. I can't wait. Now, here's the deal, y'all. We're actually quite a bit of the way into production of these things. We've got samples that have come out. I have been testing some of these things. In fact, he's probably going to take them from me here in just a minute. Speaking of. And I'll be sad to see them go before you do. Listen. If you want to learn more about the bag and be updated when we have updates on it, there's a link at the description below. Enter your email address there. You won't get spammed. Promise me they won't get spammed? They won't get spammed. I promise yeah. you I won't spam you either. <laughs> okay, so you need to <laughs> take this away? I got, go. I got work to do. You can stand here and talk all day. <laughs> okay, can I just like, oh, they're so good looking. Can I just show them like a little bit? A little bit. Just the tips? Okay, listen, you got it. You're gonna have to wait a little while to see more of this, but I can't wait to show you. Okay, man. Thanks, Chase. Can't wait to do that, y'all. Cannot wait to bring that shit to market. Now, the first thing you need to know about traveling with the duffel bag is that you look cooler. <laughs> like, by cooler, I don't mean like, like, you know, cool to the kids. Like what the, what do kids matter anyways for? Like the like you know like like people with like big streetwear brand shirts on. A lot of times where there's just like all that there's all they do is research sneakers. I don't know. Do the dads have like a lot of money or something? No, I'm talking about you're gonna look cooler to people who are in the world making shit of themselves, of tools that they sell to other people. Uh, you know, serving their companies and the missions of some valuable organizations. When you carry a duffel either in your hand, very dignified, or on the shoulder strap like this, what you have is a little bit of like a, oh, hello, how are you? What's that, you need something help? It's terribly important? Oh my. Whoa, that does sound serious. You need someone that's responsible. You need someone who's capable. Oh, me? Oh, I see. You thought I was capable because I was wearing a duffel bag. No, I, no I'm, I'm literally a child. The duffel bag does look more refined. 
I always notice it when I'm in the airport and I see the gentleman that's like kind of put together and got the duffel bag on and I'm like, oh, that guy's got a job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that guy has work to do in the world. It's like those, what is it? Who are the, <laughs> I want to say Stuart Smalley, but it wasn't Stuart Smalley who wrote those books where like everybody, like I'm the fireman. I am the dishwasher or whatever. It's like all, everybody has a job. That guy has a job. But huge caveat here. There's nothing stylish about the orbit. The orbit. You need to bend over and grab something and oh, the orbit comes, like here the bag slings around, right? You need to get some, oh, like, hold on, let me get something. And you're like pulling off balance and it comes off your arm or whatever. There's nothing stylish or sexy or grown up necessarily about that. Okay, so big caveat there. Now, most of us who get used to traveling with duffel bags, what we find we get used to doing is this maneuver, which we'll talk about later, which is, you can just put it on the ground. I should mention that with a duffel, it's also a possibility to go cross body, all right? Now I'm cross body, I look like a messenger, I look like a bike messenger, like that Portlandia sketch. Portland's over, bike messaging's over. Duffel bags are over! But this cross body type of thing doesn't work quite as well with a really large bag. I've found it can sometimes just be, that orbit thing can become a big problem. On this packed bag, this is this works really well. I've traveled with this and done this a lot to just have it locked on my body a little bit better and it, it, it feels solid because it's not as massive. It's the perfect size for this. But oftentimes when I'm traveling by myself without my ninos, no kids, no wife or anything like that, I like, if I'm doing a duffel, I'll have one shoulder like this, and I'm always in the like, I got you, babe, mode. Like where this hand is just like, hey, I got you. I got you, babe. Still got one hand free, so I can, you know, update my Instagram stories or some shit like that. Which, by the way, Instagram, you should follow me. My link's below. And we're having fun. We're having a lot of fun there. But this, I got you, babe. You see how the orbit comes around? And the I got you, babe, pulls it back. Sometimes I'm back like this. Sometimes I'm like this. You, I get fatigued. I literally get fatigued going through here, but I look cool. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a total aesthetics whore. And I just want people to think I'm cool even if I'm not actually, because no matter how many people think I'm cool, I don't seem to actually feel cool. We're working on it. Back to the, you know, ancient Hebrew texts. Okay, this is like, a, the, this is like one really big point about duffel. It's just like the carry mode is gonna look more stylish, maybe even sophisticated grown up. You will have the orbit, you will have the I got you babe going on. You have the option for crossbody. I know I'm not teaching you anything here, but just so you know, when we look specifically at how it is we carry this thing, we can just start making notes on what those things are and you can realize like actually there's a lot of hassle in duffel travel. Okay, I'm getting a little hot here and excited. Let's get into the backpack thing. Now, on the other hand, you have backpacks where you're completely hands-free. This is the Tortuga set out. It's actually their 35 liter. They have a 40 liter and a 35 liter in their new all black, which I think is pretty good looking. I like this black and the material feels really good too. And they've got this incredible harness system, right? Where you're like locked in and everything's padded. And I mean, this thing is over the top, but I pulled it out for a reason because one of the things that you get to have in backpack mode is hands-free, okay? Hands-free means, what is it for you? You got your phone in one hand and a donut in the other. Maybe you have your wife in one hand and with the other, you're gently reaching out and touching the hands of gentlemen as they walk by saying like, hey, I think you're stylish and interesting. I'd really love to hear your story but I can't right now because it would make my wife uncomfortable. Hands-free, so much great stuff you can do with hands-free, you know? Just, just slowly work your way out of the closet over time. Do you see any orbit going on? Do you see any I got you babe going on? This is solid. This is the value of backpack, okay? Backpack enables this, just standing, love it. Duffel can be easier to access when you're on the go. It's just because look, you've got it right here. That little orbit that caused us some pain before, turns out it's also a feature, not just a bug. Okay, because a duffel bag like this, this one's from Tortuga, it's their set out duffel. And it's a really, it's like a very affordable bag that has a ton of organization and access, including like little secret sort of pocket right here where all of your passports for the whole family go. And it has a little zipper, so it's it's simple and secret and you can kind of tuck it away and so those little prying, you know, hands and fingers when you're going through some crowded area 
in Paris. Why, why did Paris people steal so much? They can't get at that, hopefully. There's also pockets inside, lots of organization around. One of my favorite things about this bag is just these huge, both sides, just a, 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 like a Velcro thing. And it's just a huge pouch. Like, I can just throw my newspaper, my magazine, which I don't read either of those, my iPad, which I wouldn't feel very comfortable there, would be a little, like, unsafe, but my boarding passes and other, just throwing shit in. Big bunches of snack bars so that when my kids are getting whiny, it's like, here is some good protein. I'll put <laughs> a link below right now to my favorite snack bars, which I always travel with. And you gotta get good nutrition when you're traveling, you guys. You can't be hitting that sugar and that fucking complex carbohydrates for no good reason. We gotta get to that good fat, good protein so that you can last longer, all right? Not just in making love, but you will last longer in making love too. Why am I yelling? I don't know. <laughs> I love lamp. Simple thing here is when this is on, you can access it a little easier. What do you have to do on a backpack? Do you know what you have to do on a backpack? I'll tell you what you have to do. You have to do this. Are you ready? Ready for what you have to do on a backpack, especially if you're loaded in hips and, uh, and which, you know, if you have a big load on your back, having hip straps really does help. Okay, I need to get something in my backpack, like my Metro card. Let's say I need to get my Metro card to get like, a, to go to the thing. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me get my Metro card out. Can I access it this way? Is there anything here? No. I have to take it and put it down and find a thing or hold it or maybe I'll do this thing. When I do that, it's like, okay, let's get my Metro card out. Right? Sort of sucks. Now, on some bags, like some of the best travel bags in the world, like this Peak Designs travel bag, what you have is a very unique way of stowing your straps, by the way. This was stowed, so I just had to, I just had to show you that it does that magnets. But you also have a, an interesting functionality here that they've built into the bag, where you can go crossbody, and then where's my zippers? You'll have to keep your zippers sort of in a spot that you can know, and look at that. Now I'm in the side access compartment of the bag, and they actually make camera cubes and things like that that fit right in there with side access doors so you can get into things from the side without having to move a bunch of stuff around your bag. This thing, sensational. If I could get everybody into, I mean, it's like the, it's the best feeling travel bag in so many ways. I, I just have to, I mean, it's just innovative. All the pockets, que bueno. Peak Designs are always doing shit like that, just innovating. And this also, this doesn't, it's not like their other backpacks where, where it, this doesn't look like Robocop. <laughs> it doesn't look like, like, uh, uh, yeah, like there's that show on Netflix called Mars I'm watching with my kid, which is actually really good because it's going between like documentary and an actual show. And my son's learning so much about space and Mars, which I love, but the peak stuff can oftentimes look like it's a prop from a show like that. So duffel can be easier to access on your body. What's next? I mentioned this earlier, but duffel can be easier to put down, especially when you have a lovely handle on top like this one or these ones from uh, from the pact. I just, I mean, this is a lot more expensive than these other duffels, but uh, the materials speak for themselves. If you're not, if you're a big boy or a big girl, you're really gonna love this bag because it feels very refined, but it also travels really well. Love these handles, even though there's two, okay? And they can be they can be flopped around. I find them very easy to grab and I love the feeling of them. Now compare those handles with uh, this one on Tortuga where those these are like long floppy handles. What's interesting about them is you can actually, for a lot of people, get your arm through there. You just wanna make sure that you button this up or Velcro this up if you uh, if you do. What's great about this, this is like your your babe I got you is built in, right? That's awesome. Bummer is your arm will fall off. <laughs> if you have a lot of shit in there, it'll hurt your arm. But these handles, if they're not buttoned together, okay, or Velcroed together, they can be very floppy and hard to find. You have to go all the way over here and you can't really quite get the other one. Like you kind of want to pull that over, pull that over, and then grip them together, which is, I don't find to be much a problem just because I'm constantly having it Velcroed together, except for when I need to open it up, okay? This one from Air, similarly, big old chunky handle. Feels kind of cheap, I have to admit, in some ways. Like I wish there was a little more tactile um, suppleness or, or quality feeling, but the truth is it's not gonna break. 1680D 
excuse me, ballistic nylon wrapped around some, some, it almost feels like a, a little piece of very thin plastic, but probably maybe even cardboard and some, some padding. But it's, what's amazing about it is as you have this thing on, okay, no, like literally no looking. I haven't practiced this. It's just, it's just right there. So when I need to put it down, boom, easy. Did you see how fucking fast I was able to put that down? I can literally, it's like, let's just let gravity do it. Just let, just let it ski down your arm. Like some, you know, spider jumpsuit wearing <laughs> Alaskan. Whereas like even a simple backpack, like this knack backpack, which actually expands Bands. I, this thing expands. This is an amazing travel backpack for those of you who need like a daily carry when you get there. And it's kind of like businessy, kind of works businessy wise, but like, let's put a backpack down. You know the deal. Take a backpack down, we're going arm. What do you do? Do you go like this? No, yeah, I, th I go like this. And then hand on the right side, pulling it down and we're doing that. Not that bad, not that bad. But here's the deal. When you're in transit and you're just going through stuff, this is a big deal because you got like the long customs line and you get to just like plop it down, right? That's cool. There's a drawback to this though. Where you, have you ever seen people like just like kicking their bag <laughs> across the floor? Have you seen that? Just like kicking your duffel might be a thing that you do. So making sure that you have one that's very durable, has stuff on the bottom of it, like these uh, metal feet and these leather things that are, that are good for the for the scuffing and stuff like that, or made from a material. All of these that I'm showing you are all like sad, suitable for putting them down and kicking them across the ground because they'll last a long time. But what do you do when you're in the urinal? This, this is a big thing for a lot of guys, right? Cause you got this on. And so basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into hardcore, I got you babe mode, holding that back, left hands free, so we can do this, you know, we've got, we're gonna get access our our piece. But <laughs> you just really, you don't wanna put your bag down anywhere near that damn urinal. You know what I mean? So duffel, hands free with the backpack. It's the way I like to pee. Now, this is a point for both backpacks and duffels. Some backpacks and some duffels are easier to pack than others. For instance, this uh, Tortuga set out duffel bag is amazing at being just a, a case. Like it's like a luggage case. It's just tons of space. However, it only opens from the top like this. Okay, so when we need to get in everything, that means this and this zipper's in the middle, right? So everything here, we're pinching through there to get at. If you need to get something at the bottom, you're gonna have to pull stuff out to get it. That kind of thing is not necessarily how a lot of people like to travel, but what's good about it is you don't have to put your bag down and open it up and go full clamshell just to get at something. Others greatly prefer something like this from Pact, where you have this suitcase mode, okay? What's great about this, actually, I just have this bumped up with, with other bags, um, plumped up, is I think if I was using this regularly, this packed bag, I wouldn't actually use packing cubes. I, at least on one side, I would just put fill up that whole thing with my shoe, with my clothes and an extra pair of shoes or something like that. Then everything on this other side is like the, uh, it may be like some daily carry packing cubes, maybe just straight up this other side. What's great about this is you have these zippers on top that get you into either side of that clamshell. In this side, I could have like a backpack that's just packed with my daily carry gear or whatever I need. Get to the get to the airplane seat and I can just take this and throw it up top and then grab this and I have all my computer and everything I need. That's packing pretty minimally for, for like, not for some. For some that's really minimal. For others it's not so minimal. But that packing ability where you got the, the, the sort of see everything clamshell mode that's great. Backpacks can do this as well, right? Here's that Tortuga set out, which by the way, has these great compression straps on the side so you can kind of cinch it down, but they're not in the way of the zipper. This is killer. Cause anytime you need to jump in there, you don't have to unplug, you know, your, your compression straps. And then inside there, you just have a bunch of space. So you see that this is their 35 liter. So you get clear visible access to everything and some organization pockets up top. That's a big deal when your bag, you know, opens up like that. Compare that to like any basic old school roll top bag. We are coming in the top and every, you need to get that pair of shoes down at the bottom. You have to pull literally everything out of there. Yikes. Here's something interesting. Duffels can actually be easier to carry a, say you have a smaller day pack. This is just like, let's pretend this is just my day pack. 
and I'm just going to, let's just like travel. This is my travel setup. I've got my case or my luggage here, which is the duffel from air. And I've got a backpack. So if I'm traveling by myself, this is, this is a little shitty. I'll be honest. I don't like, these are always competing for shoulder space. You almost wish there was a way to like Velcro them together. So it's like one does the work of two, but I've got my hand here. I can use it. I can carry it by hand. What's great about carrying by hand. I can just drop it. I'm done with it, right? Move it around, carry it from place to place. I'm throwing it in the back of the taxi. I'm throwing it in the overhead compartment. I'm throwing it in. It's just a way to get my shit from point A to point B. And then my daily carry bag is on me. So Duffel, you can have this whole thing packed out over here and you know, your daily carry with your water bottle or your whatever. By the way, this airbag is super great with organization, just like the Tortuga. That little water bottle pocket is enough to make this thing fully, actually, swear to God, useful as a duffel bag. Plus it's padding and it's 1680D ballistic nylon. Like it's very robust here. Water resistant laptop pocket zipper where, you know, it's nice to have, like I don't, all of these duffels have laptop compartments. I'm not showing you any duffels that don't have laptop compartments because so many of us are just traveling with laptops. But it's nice to have these duffels as like quick access pocket up on the front here. There's a huge panel with organization inside. It's nice to have these duffels that have great organization like this. Now here's something, backpacks can be easier at maneuvering through crowded areas with. Why? Because you just have the space behind your body that is like a turtle shell thing. There's a drawback that you got the turtle shell thing. You know, you look like a turtle shell. This is back to like, you know, I'm just like a kid, like what? Like, oh my God, Cynthia, I really hope Cynthia likes me. I get it, it feels a little juvenile. Getting a good backpack can make it feel a little more dignified, right? But you can you can easily move through the aisle of the airplane, right? This is the big, this is the big moment. This is a big moment, you know? <laughs> when you're getting on the plane and everything's like, it's like we're cows being herded into this thing. We're like, everything's fine, everything's gonna be okay. Like we're like, <laughs> the amount of unconscious, Fear <laughs> in those moments is amazing. And the same, like that Louis C.K. bit about when you have to reach up and grab your bag and everybody behind you is waiting and stuff. So you wanna be able to streamline yourself down the path. And oftentimes, when you have a butt duffel, that means it's coming off your arm out. So what you wanna do is you wanna start doing some, you wanna just start holding this like this, maybe just like a minute a day at first and then go over time just to just to get that muscle built up because sometimes when you have a lot of heavy shit in that, this fucking sucks. So what we see a lot of people doing is this thing, walking down the aisle with that. You see basically, you can't really, I mean maybe you can go like this and walk down, but this is wide. This is wide, man. So there's a lot of situations where a backpack is going to be easier to maneuver in the crowds than, uh, than a duffel is. There's also some where it's just gonna be hard no matter what you have, right? When you're in really tight spaces, a backpack can feel really annoying because you're bumping into people back there and you're like, oh, hey, sorry about that. Which is one of the reasons why I like this peak so much is because it's a very, I mean, you can tell it's not like massive, 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 right? It's not like so far back. It's very sleek. It doesn't have what we call travel drag. And by we, I mean the Manal guys who coined that term as far as I'm concerned. But travel drag is that thing where you're traveling and you feel like you're dangling everywhere. You're getting caught up on shit. You're like, it's a terrible feeling. So having a nice tight bag like this is a great way to get around that. By the way, on this Peak Designs backpack, one of the things people sometimes dislike is that the padding on the straps doesn't feel too robust. It feels too thin for them. I personally, I'm an athletic guy, so I can handle it and I find it great. I find that it's, it's, it's totally satisfying. I do like big padded straps a lot, but I find that this, little, this look actually looks a little more dignified. So in some backpacks, we're heading into a little more of that dignified, interesting look than others. You know, for instance, this Topo 40 liter travel bag, one of my favorites also, big chunky straps, and it has an aesthetic that's playful, that's outdoorsy. It's like that 70s dropping acid and climbing big rocks kind of vibe. You know what I mean? I like that a lot. And it's got nice, big, cushy padded straps. Feels good. Not as tight, I mean, it's not as far back, but it goes wider. You can see it here over my shoulders than, than the peak, right? And so maybe that matters a lot to you. For a lot of people, when they're choosing between a backpack, it's kind of like, I want the biggest backpack I can get, which would be like the Tortuga set out in, in a lot of ways. But the truth is you can fit just as much in here. 
If you're careful with it, you really can. And the more you have on your back, the more you have to carry when you travel, the heavier the load, okay? Speaking of which, backpacks can distribute the load, the weight better oftentimes, especially when you have a harness system like this one from Tortuga, which is really great. It's robust, it is not dignified, it is more functional, uh, it is more utilitarian, it's breathable and has all these chunky, you know, so you've got air going through. It's very comfortable, but like, but it's, uh, it's not like a, it doesn't feel very big boy sometimes. But because of this back panel, what I'm able to do is get the whole weight of that load on my back, right? All of the things in my bag are distributed across two shoulders and if, I, if I'm including one of these, and my hips, and this is really the money maker. When you got hips and a sternum strap, what happens is you basically, if it's a rigid frame in the back like this one has, what, you, what you're doing is you're putting the weight of the bag on your hips, this is what every backpacker knows, and then these are kind of, there's like a lot of looseness in this, right? So this is just a way of, of sort of keeping the bag from flopping one side or the other, and you can make it as tight or as loose as you want sometimes. So it does need to be said that backpacks can distribute that weight better, and some, some duffel bags can distribute the weight pretty damn good. I'm thinking specifically of this Tortuga duffel. The reason why is this little strap right here. I, I do not see other bag makers using a strap like this, um, but I have noticed originally in their uh, home base duffel, which is like made out of sailcloth, it's very thin and lightweight, but really durable, just for bringing a bunch of shit around the world with you, had a similar big, big shoulder strap. Not a very good look in some ways, I think. You know, stylistically, it's not that interesting, but I was amazed by how much the rigid sort of, it, it's, it's the rigidness of this thing and then the softness of the padding underneath takes that whole weight of the pack and distributes it across my entire shoulder. All on one shoulder, but this is better, for example, than this Air One, which is designed more to just be low key, out of the way. It's not gonna fall, it's not gonna do something terrible, but you definitely don't feel that huge, robust support there. So in my experience, I actually like switching it up quite a bit. I like going from my peak travel bag to uh, the packed, especially if I'm going to New York or LA or something where I need to, I don't know, I just wanna have a, I wanna zhuzh it up a bit. I love traveling with this. I like having a couple things to choose from. So maybe having one of each is a, is a future option for you. Maybe you have to choose one right now for this current trip or this current next year of trips, right? And I would just encourage you to get something you really like, something that you really connect with. Because when we travel, we are in this amazing, almost like forced flow state because nothing is new. Or, are old, <laughs> everything is new, right? You're figuring out your way through things, especially when you're doing like real travel and you're out there in the world and you're seeing new stuff, right? And that mode, uh, that like mental mode, there's a lot of, it's like a psychedelic journey and a lot of new stuff can come up. You can realize some stuff. That's why when we go out and travel, we're, we like, we, we have whatever experiences we have. And you notice how when you come back, Things, are, things can get different with some of your relationships or with your work. You can have a little more vision for your life. You can have a little more perspective and maybe gratefulness for what you do already have. Or it might be more hunger for like, you know what? I'm wasting my time. I need to turn myself on and get started with whatever work I need to be doing in the world. So my recommendation is always to get good products. I love every product that I've shown you here today and there's a lot more to show you, okay? So what I've done is I've created a website where I have lists of my favorite travel bags, my favorite duffel bags, my favorite daily carry bags, all of that. Like I mentioned, I can update those. I can't update this video. So if you wanna see some great duffel bags and if you wanna see some great travel backpacks, check out the links in the description below. Bagworks.co is where I've got those lists right now. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're gonna, you know, find your way in life and get through whatever thing that you're going through right now. Because I'll be damned if we aren't all facing down the barrel of a gun, uh, looking at, at our own mortality, realizing that no matter what's going on on the earth, no matter global warming or this, that, and the other, existentially, you motherfucker, you have to face the fact that you will one day expire, or at least this body will. 
It just is a little crazy making. And I think there's probably parts way deep down in the back of your brain that are processing and thinking about that. In the meantime, we have this time together. <laughs> we have our lives. Kiss your, kiss your son, kiss your daughter, to call your mom, say what's up to your dad, even if he's dead. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Travel light. Bye bye. Backworks.co JaceReeves.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Oh, yeah, he's wanting us to. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.